in this video we will talk about inner class so when you talk about inner class it's of three types so let me write in the comment part so inner class is of three type the first type is called as member inner class the second type is nested inner class and the third part is anonymous inner class so we'll see these types in step by step manner so we'll first we'll start with a member type now to demonstrate what exactly member type is, let me say I have a class here and the class name is called as A. Okay. And in this class A, what let, let me say I want to I have a variable called as int i. So the only way to use this int i from this class is by instantiating that A, which is A obj equal to new A. So now what we can do is we can simply say it's obj dot i. And we can assign some values, right? And if we can even print that value. So we'll say system dot out dot print ln. And we can print the value of i, which is obj dot i. And if I run this code, so if I say run as Java application, the output you're able to see is 5, right? Now, we are able to assign the value and we are able to print the value is only because this i here, it's an instance variable or also called as, so it is also called as member variable. So whenever you work with member, what you need is you need an object. So whenever you work with instance variables or members, we need to create the object. Now what we can do is we can simply uh, define another member. So whenever you say you have something inside a class, so th those uh, thing becomes members, right? So let's say you have a variable, so it has a member. If you have a method, it becomes a member. What about a class? What if in that class A, if I define a class B? We can do it, right? So we are not getting any compile time error. And in this, what we can do is we can define a method called as public void show. And in this public void show, let me print a statement with system dot out dot print ln and somewhere here let me print hello so the only thing I want from my show is to print hello now question arise how to call this show see show is not a member of a show is a member of b and b is a member of a so in order to call show we need to create object of b first that means after creating object of a since I don't want this I anymore. This was just for the representation. So we will remove this part also to make our code more simple. Now I don't want object A here. So the, my main focus here to create the object of B. So what we can do is we can say B obj1 equal to new B. So will it work? Oh, unfortunately we are getting an error. Error says multiple markers at this line B cannot be resolved to a type. It's simply because it is not able to find this B. So what we can do? We have to specify B is available with A. So when you define a reference, you have to say it is A dot B. So defining a reference is very easy. So we can simply use A dot B. Problem starts when you want to create the object. Now here you cannot say it is A dot B. Again, there might be a thought in your mind that this is A dot B. So this should also be a or a dot b, right? But unfortunately, this b here is an instance member, which means in order to instantiate this object b, what we need is we need object of a. So we have to say obj dot new b. So this is how you need to create the object of the member in a class. So you have to use the object of a to create object of B because B is the inner class of A. So this B here is called as, it is called as member inner class. And now what we can do, we can, from this line, we can say it is obj1 dot show. Simple. Let me run this code. So if I say run as Java application, the output is hello. So this B here is a member in a class. So in the next part what we'll do is we'll talk about nested class.